What's up guys? I forgot my GoPro today. But anyways, I'm trying to knock out the lineman on the Chevy, the one I was doing the lift kit on, on Saturday. But I'm having trouble with the lineman machine. I got the foreman calling the, um, the hunter guy right now to come get that fixed, so if we could get it fixed. Um, I actually put the stock, uh, steps back on because they were ones. Um, this is a, like an extended cab, like a double cab Chevy, not a cool cab, and the steps were for a cool cab, so they're a little bit too long. So they wouldn't have matched and mounting points were kind of like, just the rear ones were kind of off. But I just got done with the Chevy, the lime is done. Actually, check it. It's a seven inch lift kit on 35s. Truck honestly looks fucking good. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna go turn in this paperwork so we can ship this truck out. I'll see you guys and see what's next. All right guys, so we're about to go to lunch. Come on, Chewy. I right, start on this Ranger after. No, you're not. Bro, I know I'm not. No. They know. They know? We know. <laughs> Still before we get yelled at, even though we're already gonna get yelled at. You think so? Yeah. What are we gonna get yelled at for? What's up guys? I haven't gotten a lot of footage today because we've been super, super busy in the shop. But I've been working on this uh, Ford Ranger and I was doing a who excuse me, a three inch lift kit from Fabtech with the upper control arms. It's just spacers up front, like stress spacers up front, and a small like two inch, one inch block in the rear. Um, I'm basically pretty much all done. I cut off wheel, but as you can see, show you everything. I took these all apart because a spacer goes down here and it's got a top spacer. It's got fab tab control arms. Uh, that's pretty much it. There's really not too much to this little lift kit. Honestly, for a little truck, not too bad. We move on down here to the front it is a fabtech lift kit by the way um this is what i'm waiting for the cut off wheel because these studs are way too long i got my socket in there and ran it as much as i can but now i gotta cut them off so actually so i could actually tighten them it's got dirt logic um shock observers which is probably one of the premium upgrades on this lift kit but like i said not too much today we've just been busy we got Jesse working on this toolbox here. Honestly, I love these toolboxes. Morning. It's Tuesday morning. I'm about to get started on my sister's exhaust manifold gaskets right here. Um, my tools, so I'm all laid up. I got my wrenches, my sockets, my ratchets, power ratchets, you know, hammer, whatever. Whatever general tools I need to get this job done. Um, so, yeah, let me go ahead and get this done. So... I got started on the exhaust manifold gaskets. I unbolted the catalytic converter from the exhaust manifold. Me thinking I was just doing an exhaust manifold gasket because those usually go bad and then they start making this noise and your car starts, starts to smell a little bit like gas because fumes are just coming out. But this is not the case in this point. So I thought it was this gasket going bad when honestly it's the catalytic converter itself. The catalytic converter is actually split or cracked right in that seam down here, right where my flashlight's pointing at, right in the seam. As you can see, I got light coming through the exhaust manifold. That should be sealed. There's, there should be no light coming through because this is this should be a whole one solid exhaust piece. But if I got light coming through, that means it's cracked and rotten through. This happens, oh, actually she's got a real small hole right there, right where my light is flashing. You see it? And the whole thing's cracked. You can see the you can see the light reflecting through that small seam right there. It's just real hard to get on video. Oh yeah, you see it right there very clearly. You see my flashlight moving. You see the light coming through the little crack. Um, this honestly sucks because now I'm gonna have to get that welded, or we just go ahead and get a get her a whole new kind of converter which those are probably not cheap at all. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure this out and see what I do. So I just gave a call to my sister. I told her the situation. I have to take the part off and get it welded somewhere. Unfortunately, it will not work out for both of us right now. She's gonna have to wait until next week so she could have transportation to work. So I could have transportation to work and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and put this all back together and guys so i got my boy brandon out here what's up uh, 
was working on his girlfriend's uh, Pathfinder here. Did an in and out of tie rod real quick. I forgot to record, but job only literally took like 20 minutes. So that's that. I'm about to start cleaning up. I think that's it for today. Honestly, I don't got shit to do. <laughs> Morning, guys. It's Wednesday um, at the shop. Pretty empty. Uh, pretty early morning. Waiting for tickets. Right, Jesse? Yes. That truck is muddy. I'll show you guys later. All right, boom. Got the fourth gen all done. It's got two new rear shocks. So you can see one there, and then you, I hope you can see the other one. But let's go ahead and uh, get this out of the shop, and then start on the next. All right, next one up is a F-150. I believe it's just getting wheels and tires. We'll see what's up. We got Jesse over here working on this muddy, muddy, clayy F-150. Look at that. God damn, this thing's fucking stacked on mud. I wish you luck, Jesse. I'm gonna go work on the tires with Jesus. What kind of wheels and tires this thing getting? This thing's getting its wild peaks. See what, see what we got. All right, not too bad of a wheel. Get your ass to work, boy. Man, fuck you, dog. <laughs> All right, guys, little update. I got the airbags installed. I got the lines running in under the truck. Anyways, got both airbags on. And then for the filler, I ran it all the way back and I'm, I, I make them pretty slick so you won't notice it very much, but the filler's right here. Just take that little cap off. And boom, you got the filler. So you could fill it up with air. Pretty slick, pretty slick. Not bad, not bad. So I'm, I'm go ahead and put the wheels back on and ship this thing. All right, guys, I got this JL for the next project. Thank you. I got all the parts laid out. All the hardware. I got all my parts. So it's just about the end of the day. I got the top on the Jeep. Man, this thing looks freaking cool. I, I can't lie, right? That thing looks sick. On yeah, that bitch is on 37. That's a big tire, boy. Yeah. It's a 37, 1250 on a 20. I ain't gonna lie, that Jeep looks pretty good. But I got the top done. It's about the end of the day. I'm about to, I gotta do inner liners. Got front and rear. I got a spare tire delete kit. And I got some D-rings I gotta put on the bumper. I also have like a bumper cover for this. Like I said, it's about the end of the day, so we're getting ready to leave. Woo. Woo. It's foggy. Just now getting to work. Got my Dunkin', got my little tacos for breakfast. I'm running late, but it's because I saw like four accidents on the highway. But I got a rotating on balance and alignment on that Chevy right there. It's got like a six inch lift with some 35s. It's a 1250-20, but 450 it ain't too bad for it. I ain't even gonna lie, I'm not a huge Ford fan, but this is done right. It's got the forged wheels from Fuel. It's got 37s. It's got a BDS kit, front and rear. I mean, the whole thing is done right. I like it. It's got a coilover system, so you know, with the reservoir. And the shock from Fox. I ain't even gonna lie, this truck is nice. 
I would personally drive this. I'm not a big Ford fan, but man, this thing looks great. I even like the color. It's like a sun, like a sunset orange. Like it's not red, but it's like a brownish orange kind of color. Sets off the wheels real good. I actually like it. You guys see a clip in a bit. All right guys, so I'm back working with this Jeep. I guess the customer changed his mind. Uh, I'm about to do a spare tire delete kit and a bumper cover, like I said, on the last clips. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get that started. He is getting wheel well liners and he's getting fender flares, but that's gonna be until another day because the new fender flares are actually getting powder coated. So All right guys, as you can see, I got the spare tire delete kit on already. Um, technically it takes a whole big bracket that holds your spare tire off and uh, you mount this you know obviously because it deletes the tire I got the third brake light wired in I got the reverse camera wired in I got <clears throat> these uh, lights right here that I had to run a new wire for everything else was pretty much there now we go on the inside everything's apart and like I said I make this thing look factory so I run the wire through here and I take I took the tape off from each end, ran it through this loom here so you won't see it when you open the tailgate. I got it all zip tied into that grommet, into the tail light so I could get signal for the um, for the license plate. Just wanted to give you guys a little quick update. Um, but it looks good. So far, so good. All right, guys, you, can, you guys can see I got the rear bumper off. Um, the bumper I'm putting on, putting on, actually, I have to drill all these holes. I've got this one like semi-drilled, but I drilled one of them. I got this one marked, but I also got to drill all these other holes on this other bracket. And this thing sits on the corner like that. You guys see once I'm all done, but it goes like this. Oh, this is just almost like a filler. And it's getting like a shorty bumper. The bumper literally ends right there to like right there, like, you know, right there. So it's not that big. Anyways, we're about to close up. We got that. All right, guys, so today is Friday. Friday, I forgot to vlog this morning. But anyways, uh, I got started on this Jeep. I got this side panel and that on. I already got most of the holes drilled on this side. Um, just had to grind down a nut or two nuts. I had to make them flat. Oh, that's hot. Had to make them flat from one side because there's things interrupting and in the way. So I just like, you know, I already drilled the hole, so I'm not moving any of that. We got Jesse working on a real cool truck here. Or hardly working. Ooh, or hardly working. He's taking a nap. And we got Chewy working on a Lauren kit on a Chevy. Say what? On a Chevy? <laughs> All right, guys. So I got the bumper delete all done on this Jeep. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. I'm not a big fan of it, but whatever if the customer wants it we'll install it right but i got the plates on all the holes are drilled drilled every single hole for this every single hole i had to drill this is just bolt on but i don't know i'm not a big fan of it but okay you know like i said this jeep is basically done it's gonna come back for the uh inner wheel wells front and rear but it's getting the fender flares powder coated i believe right now <laughs> my boy got the the tank out the way a little bit because he had to get to the leaf spring bolt. We make the rednecks happy and we make the pequatches happy, bro. We make everybody we make happy here, like bro. Like, Woo. All right, guys, we got Jesus cutting off the U-bolts because someone, whoever worked on this before, 
uh, tying these too much and like they welded these motherfuckers on. So there's no other choice but to cut them off. We got replacement use bolts here. Like I said, this is a drop kit. So it's, this is getting flipped, you know, just like the F-150 I did not too long ago. But hey, Chewie's having fun cutting them off. We got one more side to cut off and then we'll be set. Woo! All right guys, quick little update. We got the leaf springs off. We're about to take those hangers off because the drop kit requires to remove this whole bracket for the hanger. And back. we're gonna put a new one on there and there's gonna be not going, no going back like my boy Chewy said. Once you go black, uh -oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, censored. <laughs> but we got the leaf springs apart. We flipped the hardware like they always tell you to do. He's got a, He's already got a lowering shackle on here, but we're probably just gonna move it down to keep the stock height on there for the shackle because we're getting a drop kit uh, hangers installed. We got the fuel tank dropped completely. Earlier it was just hanging, but we just decided to get it out the way and not risk it. So we ended up taking it off. We weren't too far away from that. But yeah, the we can't start on the front because we're missing a piece and I believe it's the strut piece. One of these right here. So that sucks. That one's that one got ordered and I think it's on its way, but it won't be here until like tomorrow or well not tomorrow because today's Saturday. It won't be here till like Tuesday, I think. So yeah, that's just a little quick little update. But we got the whole rear torn apart even with the fuel tank out of the way. Jesus. It's a lot of work for these drop kits. I ain't even gonna lie. Alright guys, it's Saturday, Saturday morning. I'm about to get started on this Silverado again with the drop kit. Um I got the old leaf spring bracket out i had a plasma cut three rivets and then um cut the support bracket on the back for both sides as you can see that's the other one right there 